Okay, today on Indie Style, how to eat so you feel full. Yes, and Joining also us right now in the kitchen is Jeanette Brone. She's a self-nourishment coach and she's the author of Eat to Feel Full. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being I didn't here. I butcher your name, name too much. It's close oh, enough. It's fine. I have a big knife. Oh, there oh. You go. <laughs> so you'll do the butchering. So Eat to Feel Full. It sounds to me like this is, uh, we need to rethink. Yes. Our relationship with food is yes. that is that's that what exactly it is? what it is okay. actually because we think so much about dieting and oh yeah. do I eat right do I eat wrong but we don't think about how it feels okay. right like yeah. how does it make me feel to eat this way but also how do we use food as a fuel for energy mm -hmm. right so one of the things we're going to do right now is talking about breakfast for example that's how we set up the day to have our energy maybe not for this guy go ahead no go ahead let me have it you know we gotta call you out ladies. what do you what, what, what what's your routine see oh. we're learning all about well we're my routine's about. a little new but I, I eat oatmeal maybe some toast a glass of orange juice yeah learn from amber <laughs> oh nice. a, <laughs> new segment, a new segment a new segment oh, that's a good idea is it I mean, it's been the argument has been made over the yep. years to me that it is the most important meal of the day yeah. part of it is that our stomach is the strongest in the morning so there's actually like it's getting started when getting our digestive system going, but also what happens is that you're sort of leveling your blood glucose levels, oh, which sure. is the energy for the day, right. it's your brain food. Because you're, you're breaking the fast. Yes, that too, you're breaking the fast, but it's also your brain food, your brain actually uses carbohydrates to think. Okay. Right? But also one of the things that's important is that we set up a rhythm, because if we don't eat, we go in survival mode. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's good to fast between the meals, but it's great to have a rhythm of regular meals instead of this sort of like, oh, I don't know when I'm gonna eat, oh, because yeah. the body is not really that developed in that sense, right? Mm -hmm. It still is on the basic natural survival skills. Mm -hmm. So if we don't eat, it thinks, oh my God, I'm not getting any food. So right. you hardly eat anything maybe morning and afternoon, right. and then come Over eat at night. You splurge. Yeah, yeah, and we're actually able to do that. That's how we're set up, right? It's yeah. how we're set up to survive. So let's not go in survival mode, let's instead nourish ourselves. That's the whole point. Master okay. our appetite, master our hunger. And that's by, one of the things I see is that when people have a rhythm of three meals a day and maybe a snack, mm -hmm. they actually start feeling much more balanced. If not, if we don't eat enough at our meals, just a salad, little thing, mm -hmm. not so much for breakfast, then we're ending up in the cookie jar later in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And, and we, we do Wait, that. So what, what are you both staring at me like that for? Oh, you're the cookie jar? I See, the, that's why, right there. No. Okay. We're not so pointing in. I might have been. It's all about learning. About learning. It was, uh, technically, it was shifting a freezer. I was in the and freezer. shifting. Right. There we go. Right. So one of the things I like to do, you can do in the summer, like a lot of times people are like, oh, it's too hot for oatmeal. So I do what I call either overnight oats, or you can do them with a more like, when I travel, I use an instant pack, for example, mm -hmm. or if you're busy going to the office. And basically, you just put your oats in the bowl, right? I also sometimes cook rice in advance and use that instead. Oh, okay. I love that, actually. I put a little ginger in, or you can put cinnamon in. Cinnamon helps balance the blood sugar levels. A little bit of almonds. We're not going to use all of them, but, you know, don't be so scared of food, okay? <laughs> It's like if it's real food, if it's whole food, you don't have to be so scared of it. One of the things we need for mastering our appetite and our cravings is fiber, fat, and good lean protein. And it makes it pretty simple if we look at it as ingredients, is right? And then we just pour some, I use almond milk or oat milk or hemp milk or something like that, coconut milk. You can use all kinds of things. And so basically, when I grew up in Denmark, this was my morning cereal. Sure. And then now it's called raw oatmeal or overnight oats. But uh -huh. back home, back it was home, just. It was, it was breakfast. It was, it was just breakfast. Time, right? <laughs> I've never had it like that before. So, you know, then huh. you got your oats and they're soaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And it's an easy way. And what you can also do is you can put it in a ball jaw. Okay. Or bell jaw, I think yeah, they're called. Bell jaw. Bell jaw. Bell jaw. Bell jaw. Bell jaw. And yep. close it up, put it in the fridge at night, and mm -hmm. then you're ready to go take it with you to take the office. Oh, that's even better. So mm -hmm. you don't have to spend that extra time in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Know, Are all oats ready. created equal? There's like well, steel cut oats. That's and, a very you know. good question. They're whole oats, which. You sound surprised. I'm surprised I came up with a very good question because my brain is starved for carbohydrates right now because I have yet to have breakfast. <laughs> you can have some of this. There you go, exactly. Yes. Well, whole oats actually look almost like rice. Mm. And then they get cut in little pieces and they become steel cut oats. Or they become flat and then they become rolled oats. Mm -hmm. So, yes, there are three different versions. So, mm -hmm. the more fiber you get in something is the more whole it is. Oh, yes. And that's okay. one of the reasons why we want whole foods. Mm -hmm. 
right? We get more fiber. Do you find that the people that have the hardest time are those that maybe, like you said, they're they're scared of the cooking. They don't know how, so they don't have that relationship with their That's food, a so they don't it. enjoy it. Yeah. There's a big part of cooking that actually gets us in contact with our food, right? I touch it all the time, mm -hmm. right? Oh, That's why I wear an apron yeah. when I cook, right? That's one part of it. But the other one also is understand how it makes us feel. That's also how we get in touch with our food. Do we feel satiated from a meal or do we feel bloated and mm -hmm. stuffed? And, you know, that kind of disconnects us from the food, right? Mm -hmm. But if we feel, oh my God, I feel nourished right now. I yeah. feel really good after this meal. And it gives me energy. Right, there's one thing I often hear is people won't eat a meal because they get la uh, sleepy after and feel lazy after. That's because the meal isn't working for them. It's the wrong kind of food. It's just the wrong mm -hmm. kind of food. I see. Right, so we can learn how to treat ourselves right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What you are know? some of the, the first basic tips, I guess, in your book, maybe for people who are like, you know, I just don't know anything about this. I want to start. Yeah, where do yeah. I begin? That's really great. Yes, it's really a big, actually, a lot of people struggle with that. Yeah. Okay, it's, I think three meals a day, just try to pin it out into that, get a rhythm going, look at your schedule, see where it actually works, yeah. schedule lunch in for yourself. Lunch is on my schedule, like I, it's in my book, mm -hmm. because I know that's when I take it. If you can't really schedule it like that, just have it in advance that there's something there, you need something, okay? And, and, and try to make it a meal. Okay. Um, and then say, try to pick ingredients that are as whole as possible. Like one of the reasons why I show this is because it's easy. It doesn't have to take a lot of times to just make mm -hmm. something for convenience, right? And so pick ingredients that come from the plant kingdom is the first easy step to go. Okay. Chop on the exterior of the, of the yes. outer. Yeah. If, it's, if it's in an aisle, yeah. it's got preservatives and it's mm -hmm. meant for shelf life, but if it's, okay. Yeah, it's a good way to yeah. look at it. All right. say, are you gonna write this we down? Breakfast. No. Take a Later, couple I'm gonna bites. write it later, I'm gonna have this. <laughs> well, you know what's coming up next? You're gonna finish that bowl of cereal, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're also gonna talk about uh, taking a tour of some of Indy's coolest. Thanks for All right, well, I know, uh, Tracy, are you still, are you eating? I'm eating my, eating. my overnight oats. Are we gonna make this an every morning thing? I think we should. I, I'm gonna hold you to it. The biscuits and gravy burger uh -huh. is for a great cause. It's gonna to totally throw off my rhythm <laughs> that I'm establishing here. We're gonna be back with another appetite suppressing recipe, the kitchen sink salad. That's coming up. And bike to work. You know that's a sign that it's good, right? When oh, you're when, when the I, spoon I mean, is scraping the bowl. Well, I'm not. We're not obli I'm not obligated to eat this anymore. That was that was a half an hour ago. <laughs> was it good? An old dog. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Oh, you even drinking the milk. There you go. Yeah, that away. It's been soaking. Well, we are back now talking with with Jeanette Bronay. Thank you again so much Thank for you. being here. We're talking about how to feel full, but feel satisfied. I guess with yes. the way that we eat. Yeah. And I mentioned to you earlier that we talk about not eating to where you do feel full. Be full. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Or just not hungry anymore. Maybe exactly. it is good. Yeah. There's so many layers of feeling full, stuffed, not hungry. So there's a whole yeah. range that happens when we eat. And if we don't become mindful when we're eating, we got not, we're not going to notice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're just going to eat, and then all of a sudden we're taking an extra meal and we're overeating and we're stuffed, yeah. right? Because we need about 20 minutes to realize that we're actually full. Right, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what you're talking about in your book, giving people tips may, yes. who may think, I, I, I have no idea where to I, begin, I don't know yeah. how to start. And that's yeah. not just lifestyle, I mean, that's not, yeah, that's, I'm saying that's just not food preparation, that's lifestyle as well. Oh, we're not eating, um, her name is French, but she's from Denmark, but I was over in France a few years ago, and it's been a long time since I've mentioned that on the air, so nobody in the control room roll your eyes. The, 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 the tone of a meal, yes. the, 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 the oh, length yeah. okay. of yeah, a meal, the, the yeah. tempo of a meal is like, oh, no wonder so portion different. sizes are smaller and they're better because yeah. it's, it's an event. Every yeah. meal is something to savor every bite. Well, I mean, let's say when I was in South Korea, in Seoul, South Korea, it's completely different. So I guess, yeah. like you said, it's lifestyle, it's habit. Yeah, it's a lot about habit. It's a lot about chewing, actually tasting our foods. We're so busy multitasking. Our brain doesn't register that we're actually eating. And we're like, wait, where did my food go? okay, let me eat some more because sure. we're also not feeling full yet. Yeah. Yeah. Chasing right? a feeling that's not going to... Yes, well, so sure, that's so a big part here. of it. So what we have here is because it's not just about, there's two things going on, right? We're dieting, so we're not eating food of substance. We're eating light foods. That's not the same as feeling full and satisfied. Uh, okay. So we're back to saying, listen, we can eat some of these root vegetables. They help us with our sweet cravings as well because they're mm -hmm. sweetness, they're natural sweetness. We need to mix it up with some good greens and some good fats and some good protein, right? Mm -hmm. So that it becomes a balanced meal. But the other thing also is that it doesn't have to be fast food to be convenient. 
One of the things I love to do is pre-prepping and have like a tapas style in your fridge. Because then you can just throw it together and that's what we're going to do now. Or mm -hmm. do leftovers, which is why I call it the kitchen sink. Mm -hmm. Whatever you got will work. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. You can throw anything in there. And one of the things I do first is I marinate a little kale. And we do that by giving it a little sea salt. It, it's a, it looks like a lot of sea salt, but it needs to be a little bit more than a dash because you're going to sort of massage it and get it in there and put a little bit of lemon juice in. All right? I get that little guy out. We talked earlier, maybe a you know, people say, uh, I don't have time. It's, it is the time factor. I don't want to say excuse, but maybe their reasoning for not, like yeah. you said, fast food is much easier, but yeah. hey, this can be easy too. It can be easy too. So we got a little bit of kale, so it's getting ready. It needs just a little bit of extra, right? And then we can pour some of our, like I like, I like to use my hands, you know? That's why I wear an apron, get it. Sure. <laughs> you know, it's easier than having to deal with all of those things. So here's a little bit of leftovers, so we'll put a little bit of leftovers in. And then we'll put a little bit of fresh in. Right? And then we can chop some other foods because we want taste as well, right? We want to sure. nourish the yeah. mind, we want to nourish the eyes, we want to nourish our body. We want to, like that's how we're feeling nourished and complete, right? So we're putting a little bit of all kinds of stuff in. Yeah. Right? We can keep going if we want to, but let's <laughs> stop. <laughs> so that looks pretty good, all right? those nice colors in there. And also one of the things I say when people go to the salad bar, they, all, they, they get a lot of salad on the plate and then a little bit of cucumber and tomato. Uh -huh. Get a lot of like legume and vegetables on your plate and a little bit of greens. Okay. Right? Like we like the green foods, but we also want some of that food of substance. We, we want the fiber. We want to feel full. So how did you come to this way of thinking? Was it, were you raised in a household like this or did you have an epiphany or, I mean, <laughs> did, how, to, how did you huh. come to be a self -nourished? That's a good question because I think it's a lot of different things. But one of the things that happened was that I was a busy person in the fashion industry back in the day and uh, both my parents died of cancer. Mm. And I was like, wait a minute, something's not going right here. Yeah. Because not only am I very high risk breast cancer, and I was like, I gotta know how to eat to feel full for myself and feel satisfied and nourished so I don't get on the binge of sugar and mm. that kind of stuff because that's one of those things with health and you know, not resisting the sugar cravings. Sure. So I do need to get one of those towels over there, I guess, but can I get one from you? That would be sure great. Sure thing. Tracy's Thank you so on much. <laughs> so, so here we're getting something together here, right? So that's yeah, pretty that much our great. kitchen sink. Yes, beautiful. We can show that. It's easy, Just right? And we can put a little olive oil on top. And the right kind of filling. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it feels nourishing, right? This is a different way, version of a salad. So, but yes, yeah, so I wrote the book partly because so many people get caught in this whole binging thing mm -hmm. because of not feeling nourished by their food. But for me too, it was that learning, how do I actually nourish my body? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Where's the book available? It is available online. It's available on my website as well. Okay. And there's a couple of independent bookstores as well. Great. We'll make people sure have put, it too. We'll put yep, those links perfect. on IndieStyle.tv. Now, do you? I yep. had I had breakfast. Lunch. So do I get to have, have, I'm, I have well, lunch? I'm. It's a little soon in my rhythm to be having lunch, so you should. All right. Well, thank you. This is perfect. Wonderful. Thank Just, you so much. Again, we'll make sure we have that information where to find your book. Sounds good. Yeah, this is great. Enjoy. Thank you again. I'm sure I will. When we come back.